everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the Southeast of the United States. And we are taking a look at the performance sound mission from the finale of Street Woman Fighter. So fun fact real quick, I've actually, I thought I reacted to this first when I did my uh, Colors of the Crew reaction. So um, <laughs> I didn't realize that I actually reacted these in reverse order. Uh, I meant to do this one first, so I'm so sorry, but I have technically already watched Colors of the Crew at this point. Um, so we are taking a look here. I do understand the criteria of this one was they had to emulate uh, a, an artist, right? Uh, based on what Wikipedia told me, so forgive me if that's wrong, but I'm definitely excited about this. We are going to be watching in reverse order, so we're watching from Coco and Butter up until Holy Bang in their final ranking lineup. So I cannot wait to get into it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. Okay. Hey. I cannot believe I have never heard this song by CL. <gasps> Whoa! Yo, this is amazing! I didn't know they were going to dance with the artist artist! Okay! Yo, that was so freaking awesome. <laughs> I hope I get to see that from all the groups. I've been so freaking sick. Like it was okay. It was I'm gonna be honest. It started at like okay because when they operate with four, being honest, when Coco and Butter operates with four people, it feels underwhelming. And I think part of it comes from the lack of confidence of operating at a deficit in their crew members. I really do feel that way. Now here, this beginning, I was not expecting to see Elda come out at all. The fact that she did blows my mind. I cannot believe I have not heard this song before. I am adding it to Spotify as soon as I'm done recording today. It is freaking such a vibe. Love it. So go from the top here. This whole the whole the whole lighting and everything just looks freaking cool. Also, now they can add now now they can add on their resume and portfolio that they choreograph for CL. You know what I mean? Because they have proof right here. I love that. I like they took a more like robotic approach, which is something that um the the track she has a very auto tuned voice there, and they're. I like the musicality choice that they bring it around. Super fun. Hey. Hey. Yeah, so just like their bleed throughs, it's very nice. It's it's more on the simpler side of how they're choosing to ride the rhythm. I think that was a note I made for them when they did their their actual color of the crew. And it's just something I've noticed throughout is is that, you know. Vibe it out, five, six, seven, eight. That was fun when they presented out to the side. TL comes out. Yeah, so all in all, okay, I gotta go back because CL is so captivating. She's freaking amazing. Okay, she comes out. Yeah, so it makes sense why they chose to go more in unison because they're technically doing backup where they are featured here. Lead it through. 
body roll. So we've seen that before. I really like how they had two of them break away and, and, and they continue the groove. That was really nice. It matches the vibe of the track very well. It bleed through. That right there, I honestly, personally, I feel like because they operated a lot at a unison, um, because they operate a lot of this in unison, I kind of wish that they would play around with different dynamics, you know, different levels, different, um, not, not saying that they're not doing levels, but I'm going to say the same thing I already said about their color of the crew is they, whenever they choose to commit to a level, everybody commits to it versus having some people stay up and other people stay down. So whenever they do choose to do that, I really like it, but I don't feel like they do it enough. I think, I feel like they keep it unison or they keep the commitment of the level in unison a little too often, especially for something like this. You can get away with more simplistic choreo if you utilize your formations and your layers a lot more effectively, you know? So that's just my overall note for this. I really like a lot of the moments that they have. I do. And I know that they were definitely one of the crews that did not have as much of a following as other crews so i think mad props to them for making it in the finals for sure i want to say that but how they're choosing to finish it i really like it i really think that if they had more people they would have had more confidence behind the commitment of their stuff bring it through pony super fun Very nice, so that built up was really nice doing ponies to polyrhythmically uh, do more of the upper body. Super fun with the throws. I like the fact that they're facing each other. It's different, but they are operating a lot in the same line. I do know because they have four people, you can't do as much as other groups. I know this, but it doesn't negate the fact that because it's a competition, you still have to think about those things. With the split, we have seen them do stuff like this before. It is clean though, definitely clean on the execution on that. I like that, having one person come up and everybody else come up secondly. Each person having their own moment. Personally, for me, I think they kept it more isolated to the lower half, the actual texture, and then they just kind of bled through the upper body. So I think they could have done a better job of translating that texture up through the whole body. But I mean, I like the choice that they made there for that music, how they chose to finish. They frame it really well. I like that framing of it. Very nice. CL coming out on stage kills me so fun absolutely love it and i know they have four here and there is a fifth member that i did get to see in the color of the crew so i'm glad that we got to see them there but honestly this was this was pretty good this was pretty good you know um i do feel like it was missing some some layers some formation choices some dynamics but all in all choreographically i mean it was pretty good it matched the tone and it matched cl very well Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I did, like I said, I watched these backwards. I watched Color of the Crew first on accident, um, but I have officially finished and completed Street Woman Fighter season one. I do still have some parodies to watch, so don't worry, those are coming. Um, but it is still very sentimental for me of the fact that I was able to watch season one alongside season two, because I felt like I got to really understand the full realm in, in real time uh, in comparison to seeing one of them in 2021 and then seeing season two. Hopefully though, in the future, I'll I'll be caught up. So I'll only just be watching, you know, the most updated version with a better context and how I came into it. But I really thank you guys for everything. Thank you for your support of the second season and the first season. You guys will be seeing me in Street Girl Dance Fighter. You will also see me with Street Dance China and K-pop analysis as well. I am in the works of working on doing a 17 K-pop marathon that is going to be released on Patreon first prior to its release onto YouTube. So if you are a fan of 17, you may want to stick around and check that out. But I am Jess. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.